Wayne, before we went to commercial break, you were telling us about a journal that you have. What's in this journal? Uh, it, it, beautiful. Let me tell you, if we keep on track with a journal, there's a few things that we should always leave when we pass. Our albums, our photographs, our journals, and our library. Mm -hmm. Now, in my journal, part of the, my journals that I keep is the ailments that I've had over the years and what causes them. There are several things here that I wrote down for you that, uh, uh, first of all, nutrition doesn't cure anything. Nutrition doesn't do anything to the body, but nu bad nutrition will and can cause problems. So here's my journal. Let me share this with you. And you don't have to get anybody's approval to do this. Mm -hmm. You can just write down things, say, uh, oh, okay, why does that pain hurt me again? Mm hmm. Oh, that, I ate that. That's right, too. I'm going to write that down, and I'm going to stop eating that for today, in two days, three days, and that stops. Then I put that back into my diet again, and that starts bothering it again. Oh, that's a good sign. So I stop eating it for like a week, and I'll try it one more time, and if it bounces back doing the same thing, that's in my journal. I don't do that anymore. Now, tangerines, when, I, when you and I go ahead and uh, do the recipes, mm -hmm. I will never cut through you know how you make juice out of tangerines mm -hmm. and, or any citrus, and you cut right in half, and you cut through the seed? Well, there's something in that seed that kills my right arm. Oh, it starts flaring up like the dickens. And I said, well, what is that? So I stopped cutting it through, and I cut through, like you'll have the orange, let's say this big. Instead of cutting right halfway through, I cut on the, toward the top, so I don't cut through any of the seeds to get that toxic acid that's in the seed in there, do you see? Mm -hmm. So it cleared right up. I said, well, what do you know? So I did that. Here's another one. Uh, if I eat a few eggs, mm -hmm. or any chicken products, actually, uh, my ears inside flare up. I was flying. Really? Yeah, I don't understand why that is, but this does it to me. Now, that may not happen to you, but that does happen to me. So this is my journal, so I keep this. But notice what happens to you at times if you... Uh, you may not respond to certain things like I do. So you uh, write down what responds to you. This is your journal. So I can't eat eggs. I was flying back from Dallas, Texas, doing a big gig out there in, in uh, Dallas. Mm -hmm. And my ear, it, you know when you're flying, how you can yawn a little bit and it pops your... Right. Mine would not pop. Mm -hmm. And I thought my eardrums were going to bust. By the time we flew back down into Atlanta... I had to cancel the ticket from Atlanta to Florida and rent a car to drive back. And, and it took me three months to figure out why that was going wrong. I was going through all these draining things out of your ear and everything. None of it worked. When I found it was eggs and a few other things that I was doing wrong, here's the key to eating. Moderation. Moderation. So if you eat a few eggs, fine. I can eat a couple eggs every so often. Doesn't, I, was, I, I can't eat a lot of them. Pepper. When I eat pepper, it gives me pain in my eyes terribly. So I write this down. If I eat out of cook long, uh, if I cook in Teflon pans, now that kills my shoulders and my back for some reason. All of these things. Salt. My ankles. When I get out of bed, it feels like I'm going to break a joint or something. I don't want that. Uh, alcohol kills my kidneys. Sparkling mineral waters make me seem like I'm going to have a heart attack or something because of the way it robs the magnesium and magnesium is your heart's best ally. And it just saps the magnesium out of your body immediately when I have fizzy drinks, sparkling mineral waters, soda pops, uh, Perrier waters, any of that. That just wipes that out. Here's a good one. Uh, phosphoric acid that I mentioned. By way of your buffer system, everything acts for self-preservation, survival. So take a few of these things and uh, uh, make a journal and see if this can't help you on the road back because you will come back. Get your attitude down, get your intake down, and watch what happens. Wonderful. Now, Wayne, we are nearing the end of our series on getting well, so why don't you give our viewers some tips on how they can stay healthy, Wayne? Yes. Let's do this. It's mental. There's so much. Now, when we come back, Next, the next month when we get together, we're going to take that whole month and talk about attitude. The attitude is the A in a new start on life. These are the nine components which will keep you healthy. Attitude, nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, tenacity, got to stay with it, air, 
rest and temperance in all you do. So, let's get the mind down. The A starts that whole process. The attitude is crucial. So always be thinking like this. I don't treat it. I beat it. So don't treat disease. Treat the body. That is crucial. And your mind is so essential to the recovery and to stay on track with your health for the long. Watch funny things. But when you come back and see the program that we're going to do on, on attitude, you're going to be shocked. If, if you tune into nothing else, although the nutrition is just going to, you're going to have a blast with that. But the, the attitude, you're going to be shocked to know that it's the first five minutes. And if you learn nothing else from this whole series, and I'll tell you what that first five minutes is when we start doing the attitude portion of this series, it is so crucial that first five minutes after you get your prognosis, you will not believe it. And I'm not going to tell you now because I'd like for you to come back <laughs> and really he zoom in. He wants you to tune in, right? Tune <laughs> in, babe. Tune in. And so all of these things that we're sharing with you, we want to keep the fun and the living. Life is too short to be little. And uh, you're healthy automatically by design. Just start doing some healthy things. Get on with it. and Because uh, you're here to uh, create a great service out of what you're genuinely passionate about. When we come back, I'm sure that you got uh, something we want to close off with. That's right. And we want everybody to grow older and better, not old and bitter. Right on. <laughs> we'll be yes. right back after these messages. Thank Please you. Please stay with us.